Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. Now, the name of my website is Tech Dive TV, but we all know it's not TV. And I was thinking back yesterday as to what TV meant to me when I was growing up. Well, our first TV um, was not anything really fancy. It was a black and white TV. Um, it had, you know, channel buttons on the front, kind of like this one. And we didn't have a lot of content, as you would think today. We had three networks, ABC, NBC, and CBS. And we also got two independent New York stations, Channel 11, WPIX, and Channel 5. Uh, and occasionally we would get public TV. It was a UHF channel, but it didn't always come in. What do I mean by it didn't always come in? Well, you used to have to tune in your TVs because, you know, the signal would vary. So you'd get static, you'd get, you know, ghosting on the TV, and you'd have to turn the dial to adjust the uh, tuning of the TV. Sometimes you even got the TV to roll up and down, not the TV physically, but the picture. Then you'd have to adjust the vertical hold or the horizontal hold in the back of the TV. It was quite the arduous um, endeavor to get the TV to look good. And then we had something new. So when I was in high school, uh, my parents got a color TV. Uh, it was great. We didn't have a color TV before then. Um, didn't really need it, I suppose. And also my father was on the commission to bring cable television to Connecticut. Now, we had no idea what cable television was, but I think the most amazing thing he told me about it was you would never have to tune in your TV again because there's no static, it's always a clear signal, and it was like, oh my gosh, that's impossible. How could they do that? But, again, it happened, and we had cable TV. So, let's fast forward a little bit to almost present day. So now I have a high-definition flat-screen television set. Yeah, it's a Samsung, it's a smart TV, and the picture is absolutely amazing. I mean, I thought the picture on the color TV when I was in high school was amazing, but this is by far the most amazing picture I've seen on a television. And it's not even one of those new 4K TV sets. It's just a standard 1080p Samsung 40-inch HD television set. But again, there's a difference. I don't have cable. That's why it looks so good. Well, let me explain. I receive the majority of what I watch through an over-the-air antenna, a Mohu Leaf in my case, and that gives me 41 channels of HD television. Now, the HD is amazing because it's not compressed by the cable companies. So I get raw, beautiful HD on 41 channels. For that, I pay absolutely nothing. I bought the antenna. Uh, I think you can get them now for about $37 or so. But um, it's wonderful. The reception is perfect. It's digital. Therefore, it's either you get perfect picture or you get nothing, depending on the weather, obviously. But what do I do for the rest of my viewing pleasure? Well, I stream content over the Internet onto my television set. Streaming. What this means is I actually view content through Netflix, Hulu Plus, Crackle, Amazon Prime, and HBO Go. Now, I get this via you know, my smart TV, or I can use my Apple TV or my Roku box to stream this information to my television set. So it's much like watching television in the olden days, except you don't have to wait for them to broadcast a show for you. You can pick what you want to watch, when you want to watch it, and it's there. Truly amazing. So this is what we've thought of as televisions. What will be televisions going into the future? So now where do people watch television programs? Now, it's programming. It's now called content. And they watch them not only on their televisions, but on their smartphones, their tablets, their refrigerators. Anything that's connected to the Internet can actually, and has a display screen, can actually receive video content um, from networks, from like ABC, NBC, with apps, and also streaming services like Netflix, Hulu Plus, 
uh, HBO Go, Crackle, uh, Amazon Prime. You can all get that content on several different devices. So, TV's come a long way from the old black and white with just a few channels to streaming video content anywhere and everywhere we go. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. Have a great day.